In this tutorial, we are going to see how to perform trend-adjusted exponential smoothing using Method 1. If you have not done so, please view the introductory video first. Additionally, make sure that this approach to trend-adjusted exponential smoothing matches the one in your textbook. Keep in mind that there are several different approaches, so match your textbook. Simple exponential smoothing requires one parameter, alpha. That it was the smoothing constant. Trend-adjusted exponential smoothing requires two parameters, alpha and beta. Alpha remains the same as with simple exponential smoothing. Beta is used to smooth the trend component. Looking at the formula, you see that the first trend-adjusted forecast in period t plus 1 is the sum of s sub t and t sub t. Two of these three values will need to be seeded. Like simple exponential smoothing, rounding is important to these calculations. You need to keep at least two decimal points in these calculations. In these videos, my internal calculations are carried all the way out, but I am showing only two decimal points. As a result, my numbers might be just a tiny bit different than you get using a calculator. However, this difference should only affect the second decimal point. The first step is to decide which period to begin the forecast in. It is that period that we will be seeding. Unless the problem states otherwise, period 5 is a good period to use. It gives a reasonable balance between estimating the trend component and not using up too many periods. Of course, if the problem tells you to use a different period, you should use that period. To seed the beginning trend value, T sub B or T5 if starting with period 5, we just average the increase or decrease in the actuals. To calculate that, we take the actual in period T minus 1 and subtract the actual in period 1 and divide it all by T minus 2. When starting with period 5, that is A4 minus A1 divided by 3. Next, we will need to seed TAF sub T. Normally, TAF sub T plus 1 equals S sub T plus T sub T. We just calculated T sub T, but S sub T is not available. For this seeding period only, we will let TAF sub T equal the actual in period T minus 1 plus the T sub T value we just computed. After the seeding period, TAF sub T will be calculated using the regular formula. S sub t equals TAF sub t plus alpha times the quantity of the actual in t minus TAF sub t. We just seeded TAF sub t and we know the actual so we can calculate S sub t rather than seeding it. For the data shown on the slide, we wish to compute the trend adjusted exponential smoothing forecast. The forecast will begin in period 5. We'll use an alpha value of 0 0.30 and we'll use a beta value of 0 0.20. We wish to carry out the forecast for as far as possible. Since this problem begins with period 5, there are no calculations for periods 1 through 4. In period 5, we first seed T sub 5 as A sub 4 of 142 minus A sub 1 of 125. All of that is divided by 5 minus 2. That works out to 5.67. Next, we seed TAF sub 5 as A4 of 142 plus the T5 value we just computed of 5.67. That results in 147.67. We can now calculate S sub 5 as TAF sub 5 plus alpha times the quantity A sub 5 minus TAF sub 5. We just calculated TAF sub 5 as 147.67 and we know A sub 5 is 150. That results in S sub 5 of 148.37. That concludes the seeding and we are now ready to begin the regular calculations. The formula for continuing the calculations after seeding are shown on the slide. TAF sub T plus 1 equals S sub T plus T sub T. This is your forecast for the next period, and we have already calculated S5 and T5, so we are ready to compute the forecast TAF sub 6. We now need to calculate S and T to use to forecast the next period. S sub T plus 1 equals TAF sub T plus 1 plus alpha times the quantity of A sub T plus 1 minus TAF sub T plus 1. T sub T plus 1 equals T sub T plus beta times the quantity. TAF sub T plus 1 minus TAF sub T minus T sub T. All of those T's and T plus 1's can get confusing, so I have rewritten the formula to show them for period 6. Study these if you find the first set to be confusing. TAF sub 6 equals S5 plus T5 equals 148.37 plus 5.67 equals 154.03. S sub 6 equals TAF sub 6 plus alpha times the quantity A6 minus TAF sub 6 equals 154.03 plus 0 0.30 times the quantity 
157 minus 154.03 equals 154.92. T6 equals T5 plus beta times the quantity TAF sub 6 minus TAF sub 5 minus T5 equals 5.67 plus 0 0.20 times the quantity 154.03 minus 147.67 minus 5.67 equals 5.81. TAF sub 7 equals S6 plus T6 equals 154.92 plus 5.81 equals 160.73. S7 equals TAF7 plus alpha times the quantity A7 minus TAF7 equals 160.73 plus 0 0.30 times the quantity 157 minus 160.73 equals 159.61. T7 equals T6 plus beta times the quantity TAF7 minus TAF6 minus T6 equals 5.81 plus 0 0.20 times the quantity 160.73 minus 154.03 minus 5.81 equals 5.98. TAF sub 8 equals S7 plus T7 equals 159.61 plus 5.98 equals 165.6. S8 equals TAF8 plus alpha times the quantity A8 minus TAF8 equals 165.6 plus 0 0.30 times the quantity 164 minus 165.6 equals 165.12. T8 equals T7 plus beta times the quantity TAF8 minus TAF7 minus T7 equals 5.98 plus 0 0.20 times the quantity 165.60 minus 160.73 minus 5.98 equals 5.76. TAF9 equals S8 plus T8 equals 165.12 plus 5.76 equals 170.88. S9 equals TAF9 plus alpha times the quantity A9 minus TAF9 equals 170.88 plus 0 0.30 times the quantity 167 minus 170.88 equals 169.71. T9 equals T8 plus beta times the quantity TAF9 minus TAF8 minus T8 equals 5.76 plus 0 0.20 times the quantity 170.88 minus 165.6 minus 5.76 equals 5.67. TAF10 equals S9 plus T9 equals 169.71 plus 5.67 equals 175.38. S10 equals TAF10 plus alpha times the quantity A10 minus TAF10 equals 175.38 plus 0 0.30 times the quantity 171 minus 175.38 equals 174.07. T10 equals T9 plus beta times the quantity TAF10 minus TAF9 minus T9 equals 5.67 plus 0 0.20 times the quantity 175.38 minus 170.88 minus 5.67 equals 5.43. TAF11 equals S10 plus T10 equals 174.07 plus 5.73 equals 179.50. Period 10 being the last period for which we have data, there is not enough information to compute S11 or T11, so we are done. This slide shows a chart of the results, along with a smaller chart of the first simple exponential forecasting we did on this data. Notice how much better the trend-adjusted forecast is. For the data shown on the slide, we wish to compute the trend-adjusted exponential smoothing forecast. The forecast will begin in period 5, we'll use an alpha value of 0 0.40, and we'll use a beta value of 0 0.50. We wish to carry out the forecast for as far as is possible. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. A compact solution to the example is shown on the slide. The next two slides show all of the calculations. T5 equals A4 minus A1 divided by 3 equals 142 minus 125 divided by 3 equals 5.67. TAF5 equals A4 plus T5 equals 142 plus 5.67 equals 147.67.
S5 equals TAF5 plus alpha times the quantity A5 minus TAF5 equals 147.67 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 150 minus 147.67 equals 5.67. TAF6 equals S5 plus T5 equals 148.6 plus 5.67 equals 154.27. S6 equals TAF6 plus alpha times the quantity A6 minus TAF6 equals 154.27 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 157 minus 154.27 equals 155.36. T6 equals A5 plus beta times the quantity TAF6 minus TAF5 minus T5 equals 5.67 plus 0 0.50 times the quantity 154.27 minus 147.67 minus 5.67 equals 6.14. TAF7 equals S6 plus T6 equals 155.36 plus 6.14 equals 161.50. S7 equals TAF7 plus alpha times the quantity A7 minus TAF7 equals 161.5 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 157 minus 161.50 equals 159.70. T7 equals T6 plus beta times the quantity TAF7 minus TAF6 minus T6 equals 6.14 plus 0 0.50 times the quantity 161.5 minus 154.27 minus 6.14 equals 6.69. TAF8 equals S7 plus T7 equals 159.7 plus 6.69 equals 166.39. S8 equals TAF8 plus alpha times the quantity A8 minus TAF8 equals 166.39 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 164 minus 166.39 equals 165.43. T8 equals T7 plus beta times the quantity TAF8 minus TAF7 minus T7 equals 6.69 plus 0 0.50 times the quantity 166.39 minus 161.50 minus 6.69 equals 5.79. TAF9 equals S8 plus T8 equals 165.43 plus 5.79 equals 171.22. S9 equals TAF9 plus alpha times the quantity A9 minus TAF9 equals 171.22 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 167 minus 171.22 equals 169.53. T9 equals T8 plus beta times the quantity TAF9 minus TAF8 minus T8 equals 5.79 plus 0 0.50 times the quantity 171.22 minus 166.39 minus 5.79 equals 5.31. TAF10 equals S9 plus T9 equals 169.53 plus 5.31 equals 174.84. S10 equals TAF10 plus Alpha times the quantity A10 minus TAF10 equals 174.84 plus 0 0.40 times the quantity 171 minus 174.84 equals 173.3. T10 equals T9 plus beta times the quantity TAF10 minus TAF9 minus T9 equals 5.31 plus 0 0.50 times the quantity 174.84 minus 171.22 minus 5.31 equals 4.47. TAF11 equals S10 plus T10 equals 173.30 plus 4.47 equals 177.77. The slide shows a chart of the results. Notice how closely the trend adjusted forecast tracks the actual data. In most of these tutorials, I give you two examples on how to work the problem. Because this technique can be difficult, I will be giving you two bonus examples for a total of four. The solutions to these two examples will be shown on the slide but will not be narrated. Also note that these will use a different set of data than the prior problems. For the data shown on the slide, we wish to compute the trend-adjusted exponential smoothing forecast. The forecast will begin in period 5. We use an alpha value of 0 0.20 and we will use a beta value of 0 0.40. We wish to carry out the forecast for as far as is possible. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. 
Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. A compact solution to the example is shown on the slide. The next two slides show all of the calculations. This slide shows the calculations for periods 5 through 7. This slide shows the calculations for period 8 through 11. Pause the video and examine them in detail if you made any mistakes. This slide shows a chart of the results. Notice how closely the trend adjusted forecast tracks the actual data. For the data shown on the slide, we wish to compute the trend adjusted exponential smoothing forecast. The forecast will begin in period 5. We use an alpha value of 0.10 and we use a beta value of 0.30. We wish to carry out the forecast for as far as is possible. Note that this is the same data we used in the first bonus example. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. A compact solution to the example is shown on the slide. The next two slides show all of the calculations. This slide shows the calculations for period 5 through 7. This slide shows the calculations for periods 8 through 11. Pause the video and examine them in detail if you made any mistakes. This slide shows a chart of the results. Notice how closely the trend adjusted forecast tracks the actual data. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.